Davis Bridal is the latest retailer in the news over their financial issues. The company filed bankruptcy just days after announcing plans to lay off more than 9,000 workers nationwide this year. The company, based out of Pennsylvania, is trying to find a buyer that they can sell the business to after filing Chapter 11, reporting $257 million in debt. Davis Bridal CEO says pandemic challenges and uncertain economic conditions is the cause of all of their troubles. The company has been around for over 70 years, founded in 1950. Davis Bridal sells mostly wedding dresses and prom gowns across 294 stores in the US, Canada, and the UK. This company is a big deal in the wedding business as 25% of brides get their wedding dresses from the company and nearly 90% of brides visited the store's website at least once during their wedding planning. The company will lay off 9,236 employees in three waves between April and August of 2023. They had about 2,000 full-time employees and 8,000 part-time employees. That's a total of 10,000 employees. So far, they already cut much of its corporate workforce. The first cuts supposedly didn't impact store employees, but the folks at the store level won't be safe for long because most of them will also be cut by the end of the year. Davis Bridal has been around for over seven decades. They reported financial issues back in 2018. Back then they filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy. That was in November 2018, seeking to shed $400 million in debt. Now they're back at it again, and if they don't find a buyer, the brand will go down the drain. Over 70 years. Davis Bridal isn't the only retailer facing issues. Most of them are struggling. Stores like Party City and companies like Serta also filed for bankruptcy this year. Best Buy will soon lay off hundreds of in-store workers. Disney is in the middle of laying off 7,000 workers, while Walmart plans to close 19 locations this year, mostly in major cities like Atlanta, where they closed at least two stores already. They just closed four of their stores in Chicago, and that's after they already had closed several in the area before. And in Portland, well, Walmart is no longer in that city at all. As I previously reported here, Walmart is also going to cut 2,000 people at its warehouses. Of those 2,000 jobs on the chopping block, half of those jobs alone will be taken away from its Texas facility. And then you have Bed Bath & Beyond. They filed for bankruptcy and now they're closing all of their stores along with their Bye Bye Baby stores. This is a big issue right now. In the next five years, roughly 50,000 stores will close. Some companies will restructure and deal with online shoppers, deliveries, and pickups, and others will close down completely. The CEO of Davis Bridal gave many reasons for their downfall, but one that wasn't highlighted was a decline in marriage. Let's face it, less people are getting married. Thank you for that, Chris. So love may be in the air this Valentine's Day, but fewer people are getting married in Louisiana. The number has dropped 21% since 2011. Elise Corville caught up with a few couples, though, who are not letting those stats get in their way. Y'all go ahead and fill this out. Well, Y'all was able to pull up everybody's name. Yeah. Okay. Haley and Dalvin, along with their one-year-old son, Lennox, are getting something special this Valentine's Day. Oh. A marriage license. I think we both always wanted that family life where we could come together and then have a family and do somewhat of tradition, um, you know, holidays and being able to create a legacy for our son. Together for four years, the couple is ready to make it official. In just a couple of weeks, they will say I do. It's just something I always wanted to do. I always wanted to be married. I always wanted to be a dad. But tying the knot isn't for everyone. In fact, according to a new study, Louisiana has the lowest percentage of married couples in the United States. How many licenses we issued last year? In the EBR Marriage License Office, Jeff Hickerson says he is seeing that same trend. And that number has dropped drastically. In 2017, his office issued nearly 3,000 licenses. In 2022, it only issued 2,600. Symbol of the undying love. For over two decades, Nina Russell has united thousands of couples in marriage. With this ring, 
Uh, the wed. Uh, the wed. She says she is extra busy this Valentine's Day. I am doing more weddings, especially this week. I promise to love you no matter how loud you beat your drums and cause the neighbors to complain. The biggest misconception that I see is that everything is just going to be wonderful. You know, you get married and live happily ever after. That is not always the truth. I bestow upon you. They have to work at it. You may kiss your bride. <laughs> <laughs> and that is something that Haley and Dalvin already understand. With Dalvin serving in the United States Army, they both know the importance of sacrifice and commitment. You get the romantic, you get the consistent, you get the person that supports you um, in your dreams. And then when things are hard or you experience um, different life milestones, you want somebody that's going to be present. Elise Corville for WAFB 9 News. By the way, Haley and Dalvin there are set to be married on March 4th, so they're coming up on it. So yeah, marriage rates are down, and it's not because couples can't afford a wedding. The truth is most couples can't get along enough to even get married today. And if they make it down the aisle, they can't get along long enough to stay married long term. Many women say they can't find a suitable man, and men who want to be married, a lot of them can't find suitable wives. Then you have men who are fed up with the foolishness. They are tired of getting robbed in divorce court. They're sick and tired of being robbed in child support court. They're opting out altogether, saying no to marriage and no to children, choosing to live a more peaceful life without the constant threat of everything being taken away from underneath them in some court. This is why marriage rates seem to be hitting a new low each year. And then a new study by the National Center for Family and Marriage Research shows a U.S. marriage rate dropped by nearly 60% over the last 50 years. The marriage rate in 1970 was at 76.5%, and today it stands at just 31%. That's the overall marriage rate. The group seeing the biggest decline in people getting married include Hispanic and Black women. The number of Hispanic women getting married went down 33%, and the number of black women getting married dropped 60% over the last 50 years. So yes, David's bridal possibly won't make it out of this. That's if they can't find a buyer. They're getting rid of most of their workers this year. Over 9,000 people will lose their jobs there, which is also not surprising because from the last Fed meeting, we know that we are on track to lose another 1.5 million jobs by the end of the year. Bottom line, less women are buying wedding dresses because less women are getting married. And that's all across the board. The group of women who represent the highest rate of marriage will be Asian women. Let's go ahead and get the conversation started below in the comments. Let me know what you think about all of this. David's bridal laying off almost all of his workers. Special thank you to our brother Paul B. I appreciate you, Paul, for all of your support, as well as the brothers Dark Power, Tyrell, and Ken. Don't forget that you can support this channel as well. Links to Cash App and PayPal are below. Ladies, fellas, want a balance analysis? Want the truth from a woman's perspective? Then you're going to want to subscribe to this channel and don't forget to like and share.